In this video we present the Compact Har helmet with integrated Venturi device with a double oxygen line. We see the Venturi device connected to the input connector, complete with filter This helmet is particularly useful in emergency departments and in all those departments where the high-flow CPAP generator is not available. In fact, for operation it is sufficient to use an oxygen flow meter of at least 15 liters per minute. Even if, as we will see later in the video, it is preferable to have at least two flow meters to be connected to the two input lines of the compact Venturi. Harrell offers two types of compact helmet, with porthole and zipper. As these are emergency helmets, they are offered with a polyurethane collar, which is cheaper. But on request, Harrell can supply compact helmets with silicone collars. The compact helmet is similar to the helmets already presented in other videos, the Fast Har and One Har helmets. But let's see in more detail how the helmet is made. We have a soft band that keeps the shape of the helmet during use. In the front part, there are two sealed accesses for the passage of the tubes. As in all Harrow helmets, there is a bidirectional anti-asphyxia valve that opens and closes automatically based on the pressure inside the helmet. At the output, we have a 22F connector for connecting the PEP valve. On the side, we have a pressure outlet that allows you to measure the pressure inside the helmet, and the pressure can also be in red with the pressure gauge on the Venturi. A compact Venturi device is connected to the helmet in the entry line. This Venturi device can deliver a flow of 50-60 liters per minute, and therefore allows a good CPAP therapy and above all guarantees the disposal of CO2. For safety reasons, the pressure gauge is glued and cannot be removed. The Venturi needs two oxygen lines, one to regulate the air oxygen flow and the other to regulate the FiO2. For correct operation, two flow meters must guarantee a nominal pressure of 3.5 bar. Harold provides tables to be able to adjust the oxygen fraction supplied to the patient based on the PEP in use. For example, with a 7.5 valve, if I want to provide the patient with 65% FiO2, I will open the two flow meters at 15 liters per minute, and I will have an output of 52 liters per minute. If I want a higher FiO2 instead, I will act on the second flow meter, bringing it to 22 liters per minute. In general, we keep in mind that the higher the value of the primary flow, the white line, the greater the flow to the patient. The higher the secondary flow, the green line, the higher the FiO2 to the patient. An HEPA filter is also integrated in the Venturi to reduce bacteria and dust that come in contact with the patient. Harold offers complete ready-to-use kits to perform a correct CPAP therapy. On request, we can provide specific kits customized for the customer's needs. An example of a kit consists of a helmet, instructions with the FiO2 table, the quick-release traps, the PEP valve, the meter for choosing the size, and the earplugs. For helmet positioning, measure the patient's neck and choose the correct helmet size. Give the helmet a cylindrical shape. Open the porthole. If desired, apply the noise reduction earplugs to the patient. Open the PEV valve and connect it to the output connector. Connect the Venturi device to the two flow meters and open them about halfway. With the help of a second operator, widen the collar as much as possible so as to pass the patient's head without impediments. Connect the suspenders. Close the porthole. 
Check the tightness of the helmet by placing the collar on the upper part of the chest and, if necessary, tighten the straps. Set the PEP valve to the desired value and adjust the flow meters following the table to set the desired FiO2 according to the set pressure. As an alternative to the compact helmets with integrated ventilometer that we saw previously, Harold offers an independent ventilometer that allows you to generate a flow that can be connected to any helmet. It consists of a ventilometer and a corrugated tube. First, we connect the ventilometer to a double flow meter. which can be 15 liters per minute, or better, 30 liters per minute. On the main line, we regulate the flow, while on the secondary line, we regulate the FiO2, using a detached table. We have connected a corrugated tube that we can now simply connect to any helmet model. This ventilometer model has a code CPAP2701. For more info, please follow our YouTube channel for other video tutorials, or connect to the website herald.it and register to the reserved area to download technical data sheets and manuals on all Herald products.